Today we're looking at a problem that can be solved in a much simpler way, but where's the fun in that? Instead, we're taking the hard way possible to solve this, and that is what we as math enthusiasts enjoy doing, right? Because we mathematicians know that challenging ourselves with different methods not only sharpens our problem-solving skills, but also helps us appreciate the beauty of mathematics. So we have to simplify this and find the square root of this value. Now this is 100 square, and we can rewrite 100 as 10 square. So this will become 10 square whole square, or 10 to the fourth. Same goes for 81 square. We can rewrite 81 as 9 square. So this will become 9 square whole square, or 9 to the fourth. And this 19 to the fourth remains as it is. So this is of the form a to the fourth power plus b to the fourth power plus c to the fourth power where a is 10, b is 9, and c is 19. Now this is where we will use our tiny brain. We substitute c as a plus b because we are given that c is 19, which is equal to 10 plus 9, or the sum of a and b. Since we have c to the 4, we replace it with a plus b whole to the 4. Now we use an expansion formula for this, which says a plus b whole to the 4 is equal to a to the 4 plus 4 times a cubed times b plus 6 times a squared times b squared plus 4 times a times b cubed plus b to the 4. If you have difficulty remembering this formula, use Pascal's triangle to find the coefficients. Pascal's triangle starts with the first row as just 1. The second row is 1, 1, formed by placing 1s at the edges and adding the numbers above to get the middle terms. The third row is 1, 2, 1, where 2 comes from adding the two 1s above it. The fourth row is 1, 3, 3, 1, formed similarly by adding numbers from the row above. 1 plus 2 gives 3, and 2 plus 1 gives 3. The fifth row, which we need for the power of 4, is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, which gives us the coefficients in our required expansion. So put this a plus b whole to the 4 here inside the square root to get this. Let us simplify this expression. This gives us 2 times a to the 4th, and this gives us 2 times b to the 4th, and the other terms remain the same. So we now have this. Now take 2 as common from all terms inside the expression. This gives us 2 times a to the 4 plus 2 times a cube b plus 3 times a square b square plus 2 times a b cube plus b to the 4. Both these two will get canceled out, and we are left with this. Now here comes the real magic. We know that when we expand x plus y plus z whole square, it becomes x square plus y square plus z square plus 2, xy plus 2, yz plus 2xz. So if we take x as a square, y as ab, and z as b square, then by applying the formula we get a square plus ab plus b square whole square equals x square gives a to the 4. Y square gives A square times B square, and Z square gives B to the 4. 2 times XY gives 2A cube B, 2YZ gives 2AB cube, and 2XZ gives 2A square times B square. So, after putting all these together, we get this, which is exactly what we had inside the square root. So replace this with square root of A square plus AB plus B square whole square, and both these will cancel each other to give us a square plus ab plus b square. Noise. Now add and subtract ab from this to get a square plus 2, ab plus b square minus ab. This will be a plus b whole square minus ab. Finally put a as 10 and b as 9 to get this as 19 square minus 10 times 9, or this is 361 minus 90 or 271, which is our final answer. Can you come up with something even harder than this?
let me know in the comments. If you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, consider becoming a Patreon as it helps me create more awesome content for you. Link is in the description. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!